Welcome back to Clash with Chicken. I'm your host, the Chicken. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get better at Squad Busters. So, when playing Squad Busters, there's a lot of randomness kind of involved. So, the idea of getting good at this game is to control what you can and have the basic fundamentals of playing to where you're going to be putting yourself in the best position to win more often than not. So you can lose an entire match in just a matter of seconds. We're going to show you how to try not to do that. So let's just go ahead and load up. Now, like we said in yesterday's uh, video, these characters um, that we're looking at right here, they can appear in chess during the next battle. It's totally random. Now, there's ways around that. You can use rerolls. You can use keys. Um, especially fusion keys are super helpful. But we're going to go without doing that just to show you the basic kind of fundamentals of the game. Um, I don't think there's anything else we really need to get into here from this screen. Um, you know, once you load up, everything you get in this game... Oh, we got the Squad Buster Lady. Everything you get in this game is just simply from playing a lot of battles, so let's focus on that for today's video and try how to do better at a lot of these battles. So, first off, I'd say the best two starting choices are either going to be Goblins or Greg, and if not, then a high damage dealer. Um, Brawlers that you want to avoid early, early on are going to be brawlers like El Primo or Medics or, you know, brawlers that just either don't do a lot of damage or that don't help you to just get a bunch of resources right away because that's what we want to focus on. So you see right here, we got the Goblin. We can just sprint. We got right to our next chest. Now we can get the Hog Rider. Now we can start to bash some enemies a lot more quickly, gain some gold faster, and we can open up some of these boxes. So... What you want to focus on in the beginning is just simply resource collection. That's all you want to do. Resource collection into damage dealers. Nothing else really matters early on. So this is what you want to not do. You don't want to go for fights at the very beginning unless you know. You typically don't want to fight in this game almost ever unless you know that you're going to win. Because there's just nothing to, um, there's nothing to gain from it. You know, if you take down another player, great. You know, that's one less player on the field that gives you a better chance of winning. Um, but what's going to happen most likely is you're going to lose some, some players on your team. So you're better off focusing on just resource collecting and just opening chests. The goal at the beginning is to open as many chests as humanly possible at the beginning of the game. Now, when you come up to something like that where you don't have to do anything and it's just an auto, you know, um, it's just an auto one that you know you're going to win then obviously go for that. There's no reason not to, but um, yeah. And the thing is too, you don't want to spend too much time. Um, you, you really want to be moving quickly. Like you don't want to spend too much time fighting stuff. You don't want to spend too much time looking around. Just go, go to the next area. There's going to be more stuff. There's going to be more enemies. There's going to be more chests. Um, especially if you have Greg. Greg is one that I have not seen yet, which is kind of annoying because uh, I would have liked to pick him up, especially for this beginner tips video. I think he's one of the better ones that you can pick right out of the gates. Um, you can farm these monsters up too, you know, just for the sake of being able to get, we want to make sure that we can get chests. We don't want to uh, be stuck there for too long. We're going to go with Dynamite. And you really don't want to be stuck, um, like you want to pick the right character, but the whole point of this game is you want to move quickly, right? You don't want to stay in the same area for too long. You don't want to stay doing the same thing for too long. Um, now we should have medics too. So there we go. Let's go, let's go. I think we'll win this one. I think we'll win it. Oh no, we got busted. That's why you don't fight a lot because that's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. I thought we had more troops than he did, but I guess not. Now, you never wanna be in sixth place. You never wanna be in sixth place. You always wanna be in at least fifth place or higher. Why? Because that's going to continue your win streaks forward. Um, so we got a loser's chest here. So let's open that up. El Primo. And oh, we also got El Tigre, but I'm going to wait to open that in another one. Um, but yeah, so with those fundamentals, you should be able to put yourself in a good position to win. Now, like I said, the most important thing is don't fight too early and don't fight too often because it does nothing but deplete your troops. Um, let's go with the chicken. I like the chicken at the beginning sometimes um, just simply because uh, he makes little chickens which help to um, take down stuff faster so he's not a terrible option. Um, I would say that 
See right there, I should have gone for the chest. That was dumb. Um, I would say that he's not one of the best ones to start off with, but he can definitely be useful in certain situations for sure. Um, not the best character in the game by any means, but now you see here, we're just grabbing gold, we're moving around, we're going to look for our next chest. Um, we've got a cannon down. I think we're going to lose that. Let's get out of there. Again, if we're, if we're not 100%, 1,000% sure that we're about to win, we're not going to waste time fighting. Um, let's go Barbarian, because we're there's a lot of other teams around us right now. So let's just, you know, we're not really ready to fight anyone. So what are we going to do? We're going to farm. And let's grab our stuff, get out of here. Move on to the next one. We got to get out of here. There's way too many strong guys behind us. Okay. Ouch. Um, let's move back. I want to get away from these guys. Thank God they went the other way. They would have taken us down. No problem. Um, let's go. It's too early for medics. I like medics towards the end of the battle. You know, when you're fighting a lot and you need to get healed up. Um, in the beginning, not as important. And typically you can gauge the other enemy team's power by uh, how many gems that they have. Although it's not always the case. So it's just something to keep in mind because if you look, go and look at somebody and it's like, oh man, this guy's, you know, he's got hardly any gems. He must, you know, not be nearly as strong as me. And you can't really tell other than that. Um, you know, otherwise things look fairly even. Probably not the best way to go about doing that. Um, okay, we got to get out of here. We're so going to lose that. Um, all right, let's open this up. Let's go Dinah. Now, we did get two pretty big fusions there, so... Um, I don't know. I can't even really tell. It's hard to say how weak we are right now. But we definitely need some more guys. So let's open up some more chests, hopefully. Now, these pinata things, they don't seem to give very much gold, so I don't think that's really where we want to uh, spend most of our time. Um, let's go Dinah. Okay, okay, so we gotta make our way. You wanna be around the gem mine too. I mean, you don't wanna have to make a mad dash for it at the very end. You wanna be within striking range of it, you know, fairly early on. Um, okay. And like I said, the game is a little bit random right now. So it, it kind of depends, you know, if you're, um, you know, it depends on the troops you're going to get. Typically, you'll get better characters the longer that you're lasting in these matches. So, you know, if you can survive that. There we go. So, I like the Archer Queen. I think she's one of the better ones. Okay, let's get the cannon down. And, okay. Let's see if we can bust him. I need the gems from him, so it's worth it going after him, even though I said not to. Another good trick is to just simply hang back, like let these guys fight. We can grab the chests and, you know, let them do their thing, and then we can jump in on them once they're a little bit weakened. So we're in fifth place. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're getting some gems here, guys. Second place. Come on, look at that. What are we finishing? What are we finishing? I think we got second at least. So, oh man, very close. Very close to getting first. So, you see what we did there at the end. That match went a little bit more like how I was trying to explain it. So, farm at the beginning, and you see we were doing worse early on, but we had a lot of good characters, and opening those stronger chests, those bigger chests um, at the end, that's where, you know, as long as you can focus on those, that's where your wins are going to come from. So, um, yeah, just some basic stuff to help you guys get started, as it is a brand new game. And let's see, what else do we got? Let's do, we got the beginner challenge, still loading up, um, day four to get this reward, so we're not there quite yet. But, uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys have more tips and tricks, uh, leave them down below in the comments and I'll pin some of the good ones. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on everything. Squad Busters, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Check it out. Crack, crack.